Hi guys, I struggled by myself how to integrate Redis caching with Next.js application. So I want to share it with you. It is very simple app, but it has global caching and basing just tests. It has only one module. It's kind of a proxy for Swapy API. It's open API, which returns Star Wars objects. First, I will show you how it works. I have to run Redis container alongside with main application. And now when I make first call, look at the response time. It's over 300 milliseconds. Next call took only seven milliseconds. That's huge difference. The next one and the next one, as you can see, they are sometimes 100 faster than without Redis. And how it works? Redis takes this query and query itself is the key. So if I will change this query a little bit, you can see now it took over 150 milliseconds, so it's without caching and the same path once again, much faster. Okay, I am assuming that you have basic understanding how caching works. Let's jump into the code. First of all, you have to install packages and its appropriate versions. This one, this one, this one and types. And look carefully on version because there may be some incompatibilities. After package installation, we have to register this Redis module with this snippet. Probably for production you don't want to make this module global, but for the simplicity of this video, let's stick with that. And I am also passing db number in the options. That's because I am using database number 0 for application itself and database number 1 for testing. So one Redis container can have multiple databases inside. For sure you should be interested in testing your application, but if you are not, you can just remove that and even make this module static, uh, but it's probably topic for another video. Redis host and Redis port comes from .env file. The rest comes from this import. And besides register, we have to also specify provider. And that's basically it. If you make this module global, you don't have to pass any boilerplate in your modules because by default, every route from controller will be cached. It's as simple as that. So let's run the container once again. This is official Redis container from, from their Docker Hub. And two words about tests. They are also very basic. First, it checks cache mechanism itself. And the second one checks if the application is actually using cached data or it is trying to fetch to the API second time. So here is the spy which expect API call only one time. Let's actually run this test. Looks fine. Now the application. Let's try with species this time. First response, almost 300 milliseconds. Second one, four milliseconds. At the end, let's go through this module to make sure that you don't need any boilerplate even any imports, Nest takes care of that. Yeah, so I hope it helped you a little bit and uh, thanks for watching.